Welcome to Academic Advising. I'm Shayla Washington, one of the more than 28,000 students who call UNLV home. Like all other students, my life is busy with classes, homework, papers, work, and social functions. I need all the help I can get managing my academic success, and I find that help in Academic Advising. My academic advisor is my advocate on campus and is by my side from application to graduation. And yours will be too. Advisors help you clarify your educational goals by providing accurate and timely information. They advise you about possible degree programs, help you develop a personal academic plan, and work with you to build a class schedule that meets your needs. Your advisor really does become your friend and that's how she's most definitely help me is where I can go in and you know take a load off you know if I'm frustrated over a class or just you know I'm getting anxiety or whatever it is stress college whatever I can just go in there and you know talk to her ask her about my classes and it's like more of an advising it's an advising appointment but she's more of like a friend and just kind of a guide throughout my college years of course you play an important role as well ultimately you are responsible for your academic progress so it's important that you Schedule and keep your academic advising appointments, consult your undergraduate catalog, department degree sheets, university websites and academic calendars, maintain a file of the materials your advisor provides you, and most importantly, communicate openly and honestly with your advisor about any issues that may affect your educational performance and goals. When you're ready to meet with your advisor, you'll find the Advising Center is located in the Thomas Beam Engineering Complex in Building A. Their office hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday with walk-ins on Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. As a new rebel, this is one of your very first stops on your journey here at UNLV. And we are extremely excited to have you join our team here at, in the College of Engineering. My name is Deanna Williams and I'm the Senior Academic Advisor here for the College of Engineering. And I'd like to take just a few moments to introduce you to our great team of professionals that you'll encounter once you come into our center. The first friendly face that you'll be greeted with is that of our Administrative Assistant, Mrs. Edith Caldwell. The second is our two Academic Advisors, Mrs. Linda Vaughn and Mrs. Jennifer Kennedy and our Associate Dean of Undergraduate Student Programs, Dr. Robert Abella. It is our goal here to provide you with the most accurate and current information as it pertains to your curriculum here at UNLV. We want to provide a supportive environment to help you to gain your academic goals successfully. Now we would like to give you an opportunity to meet some of our College of Engineering students I am graduating uh, in the four years that is recommended uh, due to the advising center. They uh, set me out with a personal flow chart from day one when I got accepted and basically held my hand. When I showed up here, it was my first experience walking into the academic center. Um, neither of my parents attended college. My sister was away at college, so I had no one to really give, be a mentor and show me how to, how to go about it and even what degree to choose. I showed up as an interested student in engineering. The, uh, the counselors here uh, showed me you know, what's available in the field, uh, what courses I would be taking, and what they would involve, and that allowed me to make the decision of what I wanted to study. This is one of the main facilities for the College of Engineering where our students can gather. The College of Engineering houses eight different majors and four different minors, so there are a variety of opportunities for students to find their niche in an engineering major or a computer science major that really fits their interests. Most of the majors in the College of Engineering have a requirement for a senior design project, so students take an innovative idea or they take a product that they want to make better, and using all four or five years of their curriculum, they create or evolve their idea, and then they present it, and it's a competition, and there is a prize money award at the end of the year at the senior dinner. There are over two dozen different organizations on campus, so there's always a way for students to get plugged in and involved. The professional organizations are vital. They open you up to networking. I have met so many individuals through ASCE that can help me in my job choices later on, and you really are introduced into a professional community before you're even in it. It prepares you early. I was involved with ASME, it's a mechanical engineering uh, pre-professional organization here. Uh, very important to know what's what's going on in your 
in your profession as, as a student? Number one, if you want to be successful in college, surround yourself by successful people. And our student organizations have got our most successful students in them. Plus, they do a lot of fun projects. I know our civil engineering students made a concrete canoe. Nine of them got a free trip to Hawaii to race it against other schools. We're making uh, cars, we're making a lot bicycles, we're making a lot of different projects. And this allows the student to actually use what they learned in a classroom in a fun way. I've learned more with the Concrete Canoe team than I have in most of my classes. It's hands-on working with concrete, working with the, you know, the computer programs to learn what these variables mean. You, you work with these variables in class and you, you find the answer, but these answers have real meaning. In our college, we have a multicultural engineering program, and that is specifically designed to help some of our underrepresented populations be successful in engineering. We've got a free tutoring program, we've got scholarships that we can give out. The National Society of Black Engineers, NSB, uh, provides a community for the African American uh, population in engineering as a whole. His mission is to, uh, to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically and succeed professionally. The most rewarding part is just uh, being able to see the members grow into their, into their abilities. Well, I give uh, presentations on careers in engineering. A lot of what we do in engineering are just applications of the things that they learn in high school. We're looking for a student who is good at math, has an interest at math, who really wants to create with a desire to move ahead and to do some things. Our students from day one have the, a golden opportunity to be immersed in such a very rich and in, in, innovative research environment here in the college. They have an opportunity to, to apply their talents and abilities in science and math and technology and couple that with the idea of being innovators into their prospective majors and their prospective fields of interest. Thanks for joining me today. Academic Advising is here to support you, so please take advantage of all that the College of Engineering has to offer.